there welcome back to my channel lady Borgia here and i hope you are having a great day today we are doing the sunshine behind the glasses which meant i get to use one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses as a prop this idea just kind of popped into my head and i figured why not do it it was the perfect timing because i just received a sephora and ulta haul but I received the um, Lime Crime, let me show you the box because I love the packaging, the Lime Crime 10th Anniversary Edition palette, which your girl missed. It came out around my birthday, it's their 10th anniversary, and I was so busy with all the things going on with me that um, I didn't know. But I caught her in time, and you still can too. Um, this is at Ulta. I also saw it on Amazon today, sold by Lime Crime, so it's not some jacked up, you know, whatever um so yeah got a bunch of other things i will show you some of them in this video and some more next video instead of i like that more than doing hauls i like to just pull things out and show you what i got and have some fun with it so let's go give your girl a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and ding 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 dong ding boom hit that notification bell because you might miss some sunshine all right i have my brows prepped along with my lids and i am ready to jump into the beautiful lime grime 10th anniversary 10th anniversary edition palette oh, i can't believe i almost missed her obviously these are not my normal brows but who cares this is tarte clay pot liner in blue moon nyx white um eyelid primer and a bit of sugar pill taco taco i never know how to say it even though i'm a sugar pill junkie what to start with first i've got a big idea in my head i really want to use one of these i know they've been out forever but i've been meaning to get them all right i'm gonna go with what i am feeling about 400 hours of unpackaging this cream orange color the vivid brights um, I got a Morphe 321. It's a very dense uh, little bullet brush. This brush is really good for both creams and powders. It's fantastic. And let's see. Let's put it here. Do you want to put it here? Ooh, that's a damn decision. Let's, let's, we're going to go here. It's too late now. You're going there. Ooh. Oh, I like that. That That is busting out orange. I'm going to put a little bit more, though. I love cream colors. Ooh. All right. All right. I am loving how that orange <clears throat> cream from the Vivid Brights went on. And... Um, I am just fiending. I'm fiending over all the colors. I mean, I, I just want to slap all of them all over my body. But I want to get into this orange here first. And we're going to take the three, same 321. Um, I rubbed it off in the little rough towel that I keep in my lap. And we're going to go in and see what happens. Oh, not, not much kick. That's a beautiful thing. And we're going to pat. Yeah. Although some of this white from the uh, white X primer, I'm kind of not liking it. It's getting weird right here. But you know what? We can fix that later. Right now. There we go. Damn, I'm getting a glow already. Girl is glowing over this palette. Yes. All right. Now we're going to take uh, Love Overdose, which, by the way, the orange was Cyber Pop. Sorry about that. And the same 321 that I kind of wiped off. And we're going to get into that cream. And we're going to tuck this here. Yeah. 
and just kind of pop it in and fan it out a little bit. And pull it to the side with the side of the brush. Man, I was so excited. This wasn't supposed to come until next week. Came in two days. Somebody knew that I was supposed to get it around my birthday. Then I'm going to take ColourPop's Sandbar and set that. And just pat it on. Woo! All right, then I'm gonna take a Morphe M534 or whatever fluffy brush you got and go back into the orange, which is 10. And yeah, there's very little kick. And just get it in there and stir a little blender with the pink. And then dip into sandbar. And kind of go back and forth until you like what you see. Now I'm going to take some shape tape and cut the crease. All right, we have cut the crease and I decided to take it instead of looping it down. Or sometimes I like to do like a big roller coaster. Said I want to do a big whoo shape. I love doing different shapes with cut creases. So we're gonna go back into the Lime Crime palette and I've got a synthetic, really pointy, thin brush. Rose Burst. I wanna go to her first. Let's go to Rose Burst. And if you only use one side of your brush, you can keep using the same brush. And I wanna put the rose over here. All right, it's building up. I'm gonna leave the inner corner alone for right now. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Ooh. Keep that line nice and sharp with a blade. I cut you with my wing. No, it's not my wing. I cut you with my cut crease. I cut you. Idiot. Hey, I like to have fun. What you think is gonna happen if you put me with a bunch of makeup in a room with a camera and nobody else? <laughs> All right, moving on. Woo! We are going. We're gonna go for blue sky on the eye. That was bad. I had to do it though. I didn't know I was gonna do it, but I had to do it when it happened. All right. She's coming. All right. Come on, honey, come through. You look so pretty in there. All right. We need some help for our Murphy. I can't believe this can is still going. It's still got the old logo. It's like you bust out the superpowers. Oh, all over my mirrors. That's great. Let's just pack. All right, she's coming. <gasps> Woo! I have to say, I'm using this and I do, I love this palette so far, but if I had the choice, I might've gone in with a little bit of cream color first. Like, um, Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker for Blue Sky because she's coming along, but she's making me work for it. All right, there we go. We got her going. I love this. I think I'm gonna go for the inner corner now and I'm gonna take a little bit of this grass color first with an M149 um, little teeny blending brush. Oh. Ooh, that kicked up more. All right, into the inner corner. Ooh, and then I'm gonna bust into Lime Crime. 
Oh, oh, okay, I like that. Now I know. He's do a little bit better. At least this shimmer shade did better with um, a mat underneath it. Okay, good to know. We've got contrasting colors all over the place. I love it. We're gonna try, what is this, wrapped and see what happens. And I'm just gonna take a clean, um, just used one, M149 and try packing it out right here in the outer crease. Wow, okay, that one's all right. Look at that, Ooh. Ooh, I like that color. And no, it's not gonna just continue to be stripes. We're gonna blend some. Okay, once you have that wrapped in there, and basically you put it in like an inverted triangle, bring it in, flare it out, and then the bottom of the triangle's right here. It's on both sides. And we're gonna start blending. So between wrapped and blue sky out here, we're going to just take a little bit more blue sky and blend them together. And dust your brush off. Woo! This is why I wear a shirt. I don't care that much about when I do this. And then back into rose burst right here. And hopefully we're gonna do this and kind of blur the two. And add some toonie corn in between. So there's a bit of a transition between the two colors. Right in the middle of the lid. Like that. And then I'm gonna use my finger, which y'all know I don't use my finger very often, but we're gonna blend it out a little bit. And no, the green on the inner corner, I'm not blending with the pink. It's not cute. They are contrasting colors. They look fantastic next to each other, like the blue and the orange, but not so cute. They tend to make mud when you blend them together. Ooh, we have color, 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 color. I think a little bit more rose, a little more. Bring her back rosy, not too much purple. All right, I'm gonna do this eye and clean up under the eye because I'm getting messy. Although it's the best way to be messy, sparkly messy. Okay, I cleaned up with some makeup wipes. That would have helped. And um, get some instant age rewind in there. And just put a little bit under my eye and pull it through here. I know it looks kind of funny right now, but it's going to come together here and just a little right here and here nowhere else let's see should we use a brush or a blender yes we'll go the first thing i reach is a blender so a real techniques i like these better honestly than a beauty blender okay because she got an edge and we need that edge. There's no point in putting it any further at this point. All right, hey, we got that. And it's time to do the bottom. All right, I decided to finish this part first, or at least do a little bit more with it first. We're gonna get Kat Von D's Glimmer Veil and Satellite. I love this freaking color. And a Z liner brush. And we're gonna come in here. Voila. Definitely get comfortable for that. Do whatever makes you comfortable when you're gonna go in like that. Oh no, my eyes gonna water. <laughs> oh! Not now, eyes. Don't you know what's happening? Come on, honey. All right. Woo! I like that color. 
color. I like that color. All right. Oh, my mirrors are so dirty. What did I do? I started out so clean today. There we go. Voila. See, not so bad. Bring her up. Paint her down. <laughs> All right, we're going in now with a liner brush and Jeffree Star Drug Lord lipstick, which this is safe for. And we're using stuff that is waterproof today because my eyes are watering like a mother. Okay, and we've moved into voiceover because it's much easier. I'm taking Drug Lord and outlining the petals under the eyes. Take your time with this, guys. There we go. In B. And then I'm taking Queen B and going over that filling in and just taking it carefully, pulling them out and down. So they're so pretty. Yes, I love that. And then I've gone back in with the white to outline them and drag the petals down a bit. And then I mixed them both together to make a lighter yellow color and then just go in and touch up a bit to make sure they looked pretty. Ooh. And there we go with candles and use that shimmer shade and go under the eye and the yellow areas to make it sparkle and then frosting in the inner corners and then a sephora matte white eyeliner in the lower waterline and then the marin paint stick where i start mapping out the black and white areas there we go cutting along it does make a nice line right out of the tube and then just filling in and then we're gonna take, yes. We're gonna take a Morphe M439 big buffing brush and buff out that white. You take your time doing it, make it look nice, drag it down the neck. And then, oh, we're gonna take the Crown Blush Brush and Sugar Pills Bulletproof or any decent black eyeshadow and start contouring baby we're making that black and white face the forehead those cheekbones we're gonna do under the lip around the nose and then a vintage creamy eye pencil to go along the lines and we're gonna buff it out with a morphe 166 flat shader there's a lot of blending in this and just keep blending away and we're going across the top with that vintage cosmetics um, creamy liner and buffing away again with sugar pills bulletproof matte black liner it is my favorite one and there is my favorite white taco sugar from sugar pill um although jeffree star's glucose is wonderful although you don't have to use your best white and black and i'm going back in with bulletproof again and a fluffy um, crease brush and just carving out those cheekbones even more and some translucent powder and setting all those creams all over my face as my headphones fall out and then the pure soiree diaries um two taupey colors uh to go in on the sunshiny colored part of the face just for depth and dimension and then we're taking the ABH Sugar Glow Kit and taking a bit of marshmallow and highlighting the nose. And then Queen Supreme and Weirdo Velour Lipsticks from Jeffree Star to paint the happy pink tears that fade into the glittery black ones. And voila! There she is with a bit of glitter in her brows. Black lipstick and lashes. Sunshine is inside. And voila! Here she is. The sun behind the sunglasses. With the new, actually, it's not, well, it's new to me. Um, Lime Crime 10th Anniversary Palette. I had a really fun time. I loved using one of my favorite pair of sunglasses as a prop. And See, the sun is really inside you. 
<laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I had a wonderful time. I hope you like my glitter and my blue brows and all of this that popped out from inside me. And I know everything colorful and wonderful is inside of you. Don't forget, give your girl a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And ding, 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 dong, ding. Hit that notification bell because you will miss all that sunshine. All right. Love you all. Lady Borsha.